have written a password generator in Python using only two lines of code. But first I want to demo the program. It asks me first how many characters do I want. I say 12 characters and it outputs my random password. But the more interesting part of this video is why does it do that and how does the code look. We can see there are only two lines. One line imports the modules that we need for this program and the second line is a little bit more convoluted by, but I will go over it one by one. The first thing I'm going to do is open an interactive Python, Python shell and import the modules that I need. This program works by choosing random characters and adding them together to an entire string. But where are the characters coming from in the first place? They are stored here. And let's look what is stored in there. You can see it's every printable um, charm that Python can output, plus some control sequences that I don't want in my password. And that's why I cut them off by using this expression here. What this means is I want every um, part of the string from the beginning up until a certain point and the negative 6 means I count from the back 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and these are cut off. We can see when we execute it, now we only have normal printable characters. And how is the random choice being done? It's by the function choice of the sequence module. At this point we already have a random selector for a character and we want to bind them together to one password. But first I want to show you how can we select multiple characters. Of course with a loop. What this does is it executes this part of the program and it does it 10 times and adds it all to an array. We can see at this point we have a array with random characters and 10, um, 10 things in it. But we don't want an array, we want a string and that's why we write it in this way. We use the join function of a string And instead of those brackets, we use um, normal brackets. <laughs> and by that we already have a random string. And in the end we only ask the user how many characters he wants and we exchange it with the statically coded 10. There we have it, our line is replicated. But if you are starting out as a programmer, um, this is not a goal you should be focusing on, to write your programs in a single line. It's better to write them in a more um, readable way, and I have done that too. The better way to write this pro program would be to do it in multiple lines of code. So to split this one line up into multiple lines that are better readable and understandable. You can see we do nearly exactly the same as before. We um, store all our possible characters, we ask for the password length, we start with a blank password and add every time, every iteration of the loop, we add one new charm. Okay. 
I hope this was interesting for you and goodbye.